Internet Society tries to serve net providers tasty IPv6 and DNS SEC salad, by Eljic van Beemem. Hot on the heels of the Sri Lankan edition last month, the Internet Society's ION conference is coming to Trinidad and Tobago later this week, where experts will outline the business case for IPv6 and domain name system security extensions, DNS SEC, as well as transport layer security, TLS. BCP38 anti-spoofing filtering, and border gateway protocol, BGP, security. Currently, the Internet is under attack on two fronts. The first is a lack of IPv4 addresses, which threatens to stem the growth of the network and new paradigms such as the Internet of Things. The other attack is the continuous flood of, well, all kinds of attacks. Together, the above five technologies promise to keep the Internet running and growing. Of course, they only work if people actually use them. Chris Grundman, the Internet Society's Director of Deployment and Operationalization, calls them broccoli technologies they don't immediately make network operators, ISPs, more money, but they're really good for you. The ION talks reach new audiences in different parts of the world, Grundman told ours. They connect the work done in the IETF with real-world deployment. We put people who've deployed IPv6 and DNS SCC in the same room as those who want to deploy IPv6 and DNS SCC, so people walk away with the answers they need. The first vegetable on the menu is IPv6. IPv6 is increasing, but in a world with the Internet of Things and sensor networks, it is unworkable for IPv4 to continue, Grundman said. It's hard to believe now. But encryption didn't come to the Internet until December 1994, when Netscape Navigator introduced SSL and HTTPS to the nascent web. TLS and SSL, Secure Sockets Layer, before it allow a communication session to be encrypted and authenticated using a variety of cryptographic algorithms. HTTPS is HTTP over SSL TLS. Originally, only sensitive communications? such as checking out at an online store, were encrypted. But over the years, more and more mundane activities have proven more sensitive than previously believed. And that was before we learned about government snooping and telco header enriching. So these days, there are various efforts underway to encrypt everything. We asked Chris Grundman whether there are any situations where encryption isn't appropriate. When done properly, the CPU overhead and thus battery life impact is minimal, but the TLS negotiation requires some extra packets to be exchanged before the actual communication can start, which is unhelpful when communicating across continents and oceans. I can't think of a situation where encryption is not appropriate. And using a protocol like SPDY will help reducing the impact of extra round trips, remarked Grundman. However, a problem with TLS is that it requires certificates, and the certificate authorities that sell them can be a weak link in the chain. This is where DANE, DNS-based authentication of named entities, comes in. DANE makes it possible to publish information in the DNS about which certificates should be trusted for a certain domain name. It wouldn't make sense to use DANE with an insecure DNS system, so it's based on DNS SCC, the secure domain name system. Like IPv6, DNS SCC has been around for a while, gaining traction at a leisurely pace. At Ophelia's, we're seeing a slow and steady increase DNS SCC deployment. Previously, DNS SCC was adopted by many top-level domains, but now we're also seeing DNS SCC on the second level of the DNS hierarchy, Ram Mohan, EVP and CTO of Ophelia's sponsor of the 2015 to 2017 conference series told ours banks and financial institutions are especially interested then there's anti-spoofing filtering also known as best current practice bcp 38 in ietf circles amazingly many isp still allow their users to send packets with fake source addresses out to the internet which makes it easy to mount dns amplification attacks Last but not least, there's BGP security. BGP is the protocol that tells the big routers in the core of the Internet where to send their packets, and it's not very secure. Efforts to really fix this are in the early stages, however, 
with a certificate-based filtering system dubbed Resource Public Key Infrastructure, or PKI, in the early stages of adoption. The IETF is also still working on BGPSCC, a secure version of BGP. The ION conferences are usually free to attend. So if you're a network operator and you're in Trinidad this week, check it out. No word on what's served for lunch. The ION conference is coming to San Francisco and Tokyo later this year. Or start by checking out the Internet Society's Deploy 360 program online. It's making content available over IPv6, or it's how to secure and sign your domain with DNSSCC using domain registrar's tutorials. Or you can have a look at the ION Sri Lanka presentations. There's also Apple previous R's coverage on these topics.